I'm like, come around your city, bling, bling. We live, baby. Welcome back to Little Stinkers, baby. I'm Michael fucking Rainey here with John Del Calo. Hey, my chippies. Jacob Furman Matera, Jeff That's Simmons. Fun. Wow, look at everybody in the chat popping off already. Yo, first off, thank you to everybody that came to see us this weekend in either Boston or Hartford. The people that came to both. Yeah. In- insane weekend. And, uh, man, what lucky boys. Y'all the best. Seriously, that was so much fun. God, that made that, was, that made uh, my weekend, uh, my life, <laughs> my every breathing moment. Sounds like Jake was on the edge. <laughs> Man, what a nice time. And uh, top it off, we got to go to Fenway Park. That was incredible. Oh my God. What an experience, man. First time there. Yeah, let's do whatever we want in there. They really did, man. I, I, um, I wasn't okay with rubbing our dicks on Wally's costume, but went in Rome. Corey. Do things the Boston way. Corey, it was good having you at Hartford Show, brother. Uh, Did y'all do any drugs in Fenway? <laughs> no, I did Duncan. Why did you? I, I, I had an Advil. <laughs> I guess Duncan's a drug in Boston. <laughs> you did Advil? In, in the, oh, yeah. We yeah. all did drugs. Wow. I, I booth, in the bathroom. I monster. boothed the Advil in the Jake's asshole because oh his headache was that bad. <laughs> Damn, a poop dollar, uh, Boston Bomber episode. Yeah, that's coming down the pike, brother. Dude, that shit legitimately scared me. And we're how many miles away from fucking Boston? Like 300? Yeah. Yeah, Yeah, that could have been anywhere, though. They had a car. Yeah, I know, man. I got one too, bitch. (laughs) Hey, come get Get me, pussy. Get him. You ain't special, Johar, with your little car having ass. That ain't even even your car. That's that boy from Crazy Rich Asians car. Did you guys see the movie? It was oh, no. David O. Yang or something like that. I refuse to acknowledge him. Divorced seven times. <laughs> Brother, it was awesome meeting you at the Hartford yeah. show. Divorced seven times in the flesh. <laughs> Never thought it would happen. So this is the Little Stinkers monthly AMA. Feel free to fire away with any questions that you have, and we'll answer them. Uh, the more personal, the better. Jake loves it. When you really pry into his personal life. Yeah, they do. Yeah, th- I, I do love it. I refer to myself as they now. It's, a, it's an early day. Uh, Sean, I now haven't... you have a beard? Yes. You're they? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, I have not talked to Lev about that. I will, though, at some point. Jake, your beard is coming in better and better, dog. No, it's not. It is, it's, man. It looks terrible. No, I love it, man. All right. Sound off in the chat with what you think Jake's beard looks like. Oh, on top of that, too, Jake, uh, on your armrest, there should be a buckle extender. There is. That someone from the Boston show was kind enough to gift to Jake. So now, I don't know. I almost want the helmet to choke you when you put it on. I know. It's kind of against what we want, but if it's (laughs) better for his health. (laughs) No, let's throw that in the uh, fire of the candle right there. (laughs) All right. Fire in the candle. Let me see it. Oh, God damn it. You'll never get that. John Mass, that would be great if you brought Gabagool to the Jersey show. We're coming to Morris Plains, New Jersey. On May 4th, is it, Jake? May 4th. Yeah, May 4th, we're coming to the Comedy Dojo. May 4th, we're saying, enough with the histrionics. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, y'all. Jake, when's the last time you cleaned your belly button? Chad asks. Oh, man. Jesus Christ, man. You guys really got started. In the Fucking words nasty. Of, in the words of Aaron Lewis, uh, it's been a while. <laughs> You know it's stinking there. <laughs> you know it smelled crazy in that thing. <laughs> Let me see those lighters. <laughs> Did I tell you guys what Stained is doing? What they doing? They're picking one lucky fan and having them drink beers with them backstage. That's kind of cool. I thought Aaron Lewis was uh, sober. I don't think so, Jake. Nobody stays sober forever. <laughs> you guys have been going to some different meetings. <laughs> John, where do you buy your hats from? What a great question. This hat I bought from the 47 brand website itself. Lots of hats I get from the Philly store. I get a lot of Nike hats from the website. Um, And I've got a couple carts going with some hats on the minor league baseball site. Damn. You got a lot of these models. That are uh, quick dry with some funny names on it, like Montgomery Biscuits. Could you imagine a guy like me walking around with a hat that says Biscuits? <laughs> Montgomery Biscuits. 
Makes me hungry. A Wichita wind surge. That probably makes you hungry, too. Cool. You love eating air. I love wind. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Sailor Nibiru, Mike, what motivated you to do four pods in one day? Um, I have a family that desperately depends on me. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that counting tonight as two pods? Yeah. Uh, earlier you did yeah. two? Yeah. Scotty Sales asked, Jake, what's your secret? <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to know. I, I, man, I have no idea. Dylan Lusk, uh, what's your dream relapse night? Oh, God, that's a great question, wow, man. What an inappropriate thing to ask somebody in recovery, but I can't wait to hear the answer. Um, All right. $5,000 in disposable income. God, it's just unlimited money. Let's just play No, that. I want it to be realistic. Dude, even my wildest... Realistic, you would spend five, five grand. Thousand? Bro, I like to party. So, the way that I like to party, Jake, is I would get myself a hotel room for the night. Uh-huh. I would get myself at least an eight ball of cocaine. Okay. Um, I would get three perk tens for the come down. You would do pills. Only for the sake of lessening the cocaine hangover. God, you guys are getting me hungry now. But your uh, your pills and your coke um, phases were separate, right? They you were, right? yeah. Okay. Yep. But you would still throw them both in the mix. Yep. Okay. And, and I would probably replace. drink a case of Corona by myself. Yeah, I knew there was going to be a case of something. Yeah, I would. Uh, this is the ultra. This would Omega. all be by yourself, brother. This is yeah. This is the ultra Omega right there. Yeah, that's not a relapse. That's a re re bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a factory reset. Yeah. Here's if I had somebody that was as life. <laughs> as much of a degenerate as I was, I would party with them. You don't think anybody <laughs> else could keep up yeah. with you? There was yeah. one guy I used to party with, my buddy Eric, and. Uh, yeah, we would ha- we would just stand in his kitchen for like twelve hours, and just tell stories, talk about things that we were going to do that there was no chance that we would ever fucking do. That's it. I don't like to really go anywhere. Like when I now would let party. me ask you this: when you're in that kitchen for twelve hours, how does it make you feel? Incredible when that sun finally comes up. Uh, the sun feels like fire. It doesn't make your brain feel bad. Oh, does it makes it, everything it, feel bad. Does the guilt set in when the sun no comes doubt. up? Yeah. Sun and birds would always be birds. the death now. <laughs> birds be getting up early they these really days, do. too. Dude, what the fuck? Brother, fucks. And I would think they would even get up especially early because they knew I was partying. <laughs> Mic's <Mike's> up! <laughs> that hurt. Relapse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, that my God. That sounds like a great night, and I think if uh, I, I can put together a reel to make you... Make it clear that I can be that other guy. Thank you. All right. I don't know about the pills, but... But just not for the sake of getting fucked up. It's just to make the, the cocaine less harsh. At the end of it, you yes. would take it? When there's no more... It and would then, make you go to sleep, hopefully? Yeah, and it would uh, kind of work out the willies. Would you ever get anxious if you've ever done cocaine? Yeah, I think that's built in, but I've, anytime I've ever done it, it's been very drunk. Yeah. So the anxiety kind of is, is away because of that. Jeff, what do you got, baby? I always have to poop, like when I whenever I did it. Yeah, I would always have to like take a shit. It's like, probably cut with baby laxatives. Maybe I, I, I always I thought I would be like kind of anxious and be like I have to. Oh shit! I have to poop. Don't get it from Jeff. His shit stepped on, brother. <laughs> 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 I did have a, a dream uh, a few months ago. I wasn't going to tell you about, but me and you were partying together. Whoa! Yeah. Yes, baby. <laughs> Jeff, I truly feel like the universe has been working in my favor a lot lately. Oh, man. For a lot of different reasons. But today, I was driving to dad meet, and I saw an old man getting his dick sucked in his car. Whoa. What? Yep. What kind of car? By a human? <laughs> it, it was a lady with bright red hair. And he, he had a, a pro? Yeah, dude, come on. Nobody's sucking dick in Port Richmond <laughs> that isn't a pro. <laughs> but uh, he had a little tan, looked like a Corolla or something. And I pulled up right next to him because he was right before the stop sign. And as he caught my eye, the hair hair caught my eye. And as I looked over, I saw her bobbing on that thing. And the hair color, while it might get you picked up off the street faster, I feel like is a bit of a detriment if it's bobbing up and down in a lap. It's caught your attention. I'm sure it catches the cop's attention. Yep. Yeah, it did, man. It, it's, uh, but I, th- I have a feeling that there aren't many people who are looking to chill going that way. Everybody there has a purpose. Mm-hmm. And I've never seen a cop come through there in all the times I've gone yeah. through there. So that's a good spot to pick, man. I'm glad he picked it. 
Aaron Frank, uh, y'all already ask about concerts. I don't think we've gotten any concert questions yet. Oh, I wanted to add, we're going to see Corn and Gojira and everybody's invited on September 20th in Camden, New Jersey. We're just all going to meet up on the lawn, general admission, baby. <laughs> Divorce seven times. Mike scans for hookers like T-1000. <laughs> Do the curtains match the hooker pussy? <laughs> Guido, I love the Lemon Party guys, and uh, yeah, I would love to like meet up with them, even if it's just to go check out their show when they come through, man. Those guys rule. It hurts. John Tickle says he looks like he buys hats from a gift shop at a Cracker Barrel. <laughs> <laughs> kind of the vibe I'm going for. Going for a little bit of a... Uh, Brad Ward in, ah, no, the other guy, the guy that wears the vest and tremors. Fred Willard. <laughs> He's the guy that was jerking off Pee Wee Herman at the movie theater. <laughs> That's not true. Mitch Dudley, uh, dude, I can't wait to see Kubla Khan. They're playing with, um, they're doing some shows with Harm's Way, and the closest to me is Baltimore, so I'm going to try to catch that one. Uh, Samantha, we did get pizza in New Haven. Yes. I gotta be honest, I was disappointed. If that thing didn't have cheese on it, I probably would have thrown it completely out of the window. I don't even know why that's an option. It felt like a finger food you would get at a party. It was uh, too thin to even manage, kind of. Yeah. It was like, like yeah. you could poke a hole in it with your finger. It or tasted good to me. It, the taste yeah. was fine. Tough to eat in a car, for sure. Very crunchy crust that crackles yeah. everywhere in the crumbs. Yeah, we got it from a place called Bar. Uh-huh. If you ever need to sneak into that bar during prime time, just order a pizza. They'll let you right in, dude. I thought it was good. I thought it tasted good. It was I was not disappointed. I thought I, like I could probably eat five of those pizzas by myself. Yeah, it's certainly different than anywhere in else. I guess. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna say this. I only had two pieces, and I didn't even think about going for a third. And there was one more left. That's how much I did not enjoy. When it. you got home at the end of the night, you did not even care for that last no, slice. No. Even though you're probably a little bit hungry still. I was, man. I was man. a little bit hungry. Wow. This guy said bar blows. Bar <laughs> blows as a uh, as a bar in general, or their pizza is no good, Corey? Bar, she blows. <laughs> at that at that time of night, I think that was our only option for a pie yeah. in New Haven. Bryn, are the fucking Flyers losing again? That or 7-Eleven. No. Do you think they do a different style there? Yeah. They thin it up. <laughs> Brookings, yeah, we are going to come to Minnesota eventually. Um, we're lining up more and more show dates, and uh, we're just going to keep doing shows consistently, man. Like right now, the next ones we got lined up are fucking uh, Morris Plains, New Jersey, Chicago. Um, we're going to have some Florida dates to announce soon, hopefully an Atlanta date. And then this summer, we're coming to Texas. We're, we're hitting a few different cities in Texas. Oh, John, I'd love to meet you, too, at the Lemon Party show. Jeff, what is the flyer score? Four nothing. What the fuck, dude? Wow. Yeah. Uh, dude, honestly, like, I just feel like they have they have nothing. Are they on the it's, brink of uh, yeah. losing or getting to the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, it's... They had a spot. They're out and now as they're of out. now. Yeah. They lost the playoff spot. Yeah. How many games for them to get back? How many games are left in regular season, I mean? I think three, maybe. Yeah, three. Oh, my God. It's, and it's over. all the other yeah. teams have a game in hand as well, so. Uh-huh. Mm. Uh, Dylan, I would love to come back to Hilarities. Uh, that might be my favorite club. I really love that place. That was so much fun last year. What does John think about the cantina options? I'll tell you this, Sam. <laughs> I have not tried the burrito yet because there's no kind of crazy melted cheese situation going on in it. Uh, I have tried the quesadilla. It's okay. It's fine. Didn't really blow the regular one out of the water. But the cantina taco, the cantina chicken taco is motherfucking bella, brother. Have you seen my hat? Get the nose powder, brother. Treat yourself. Fuck those breaks. <laughs> you could always get breaks later. And he's, Just I, go I, reverse for a while. I have not checked out the <laughs> Killdozer footage yet. And uh, I, I forgot. But I will check it out right in between episodes. I'll tell you everything you need to know in your DMs. <laughs> Sailor, we will come to Virginia. <laughs> Basically, what we're doing with live shows is uh, places are slowly and surely getting back to me now, finally. So as they come in, I'm just figuring out with the guys how many times and dates that we can do all these shows. And uh, I think I speak for everybody here when I say live shows 
are the fucking highlight, man. Yeah, they're so fun. Everyone's just awesome, too. Yeah, seeing you guys and talking to you guys after the shows is the fucking best. And, and I the know brand, I'm a I'm a Costco man. Costco no. brand, Kirkland brand. I know Sam and Mark are watching tonight. It was awesome meeting you guys. Yeah, great meeting them. Oh, Zach came to the show in Boston and he had a little surprise in his pocket. He pulled out his tooth. Yes. In solidarity. Dude. Like, I mean, come on, man. Wild. That's what I've always said. All John, over this East Coast. You have a question from Mick C. What is the toilet paper brand of choice with all that Taco Bell? I just told him Kirkland. Oh, I'm sorry. I missed that. You heard me. Harv Sauce, what is everyone's best athletic achievement? Ooh, go ahead, boys. I hit a stand-up triple once. It was in the paper. <laughs> Slow news day. Yeah. My middle school football <laughs> team went 7-0. and oh. It was a left tackle, but still something. I... I played bas- I played pickup basketball with a pedophile priest who got transferred to our parish. And I don't know. Do you think this is to get molested? Uh, he screwed me up at half court, put me in a bear hug, and growled in my ear. Or is that just a foul? <laughs> That's a technical, brother. <laughs> Tee him up, dude. <laughs> he really the did that? The power yeah. of Christ compels you. Did he do that to anybody else? Um. Well, he brought other kids to the pool at the St. Charles Seminary. Where were you? I wasn't every other kid, man. But were you at the seminary or no? No. So this was, uh, he came to my parish. and, and Was it while you worked at the rectory by any chance? I was an altar boy for a little bit, but this was just because it was an after school program. Mm. Yeah, the growl into the ear. Kind of sus, brother. <laughs> if you want to talk about anything else, you let me know. <laughs> I don't froth, and I need to. I, I mean, Frisbee golf, I think, is the thing that I was made for, that and managing a Chili's. So one day I will be a weekly Frisbee golfer, I hope. Hannah, you're the friggin' best. Mini golfer, mini pizzas. I'm going with mini pizzas and then the big boy driving range. <laughs> Sam, I did not see that Louis Thoreau documentary. I watched one recently that I thought was pretty cool. Uh, Andrew McDonough from Channel 5. He did a cool one on the uh, the open air drug markets in Kensington. That was pretty wild. Sam, how, how old is that Louis Thoreau doc? I don't know if I've ever heard of that. And I love Kensington porn. And I love... Um, well, I've only seen Louis Theroux's one documentary about Scientology. Quinny P, 10 per commandments. Uh, number one, visit family members as often as you can to go through their medicine cabinet. <laughs> I actually, dude, I tricked myself one time. I went over to my parents' house, and my dad, he had a bunch of Vicodin that he didn't use from a, a an oral surgery he had. So they happened to be the same size as these extra strength Motrin that I had. That I kept in my pocket for such situations. Dude, I kept them in my car. If I was out of... I I had back pain occasionally, and for that, like, I would just keep, like... I think they were, like, 800 milligram Motrin. I would keep them in my center console in my car, and I noticed my dad had these pills. I was like, wait a minute. I think I can match these up. So I brought a bunch of the Motrin in, took out a bunch of Vicodin, threw my Motrin in, so it seemed as though, as though nothing was, was amiss. Yeah, I'm just yeah. shaking like a pill bottle on the way in and the way out. <laughs> But, dude, I ended up doing that so often that I tricked myself and took my own Motrin. You overdid it? There was none left? No, and I was taking the Motrin that I initially put in there. It was just one script, right? For him? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, was, I mean, how many times? Could not be more than 20 pills in there, right? Uh, maybe 20 or 30. I don't know. So, I wouldn't take any more than, like, a handful at a time. So, I would three say three times. Yeah. Okay. And a couple times I got accused by family members of stealing pills, which I didn't. Oh. <gasps> Um, and my wife accused me one time because uh, she had her wisdom teeth out and she got Vicodin. And while she was home resting, I bought my own pills. She misplaced the Vicodin that she got and she accused me of taking those. And I was like incredulous. Like, how could you accuse me? Like, I didn't do this. Yeah. And uh, I partied hard that night because she was out like a light. And uh, the next day she apologized and I was the bigger man and I accepted her apology, even though I was getting fucked up. I mean, dude, it was a free pass for you. I know, man. You probably yeah. could have stayed awake for a few days after that one. Yeah. 
That's why I got to go back into it. Live and you learn. Hey, second chances are about. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> uh. Sam, who is Russell Williams? I don't know enough about him. Infamy Junkie, I would love to do some stinkers from Asia. I would love to do more dictators, branch out into some of these Wild West men, and ladies, too. There are some wild bitches out there. Jeff Pesos, uh, dude, that Apple River trial, uh, I just started getting up to speed a couple nights ago. It's pretty wild. Did you watch that video? No, I haven't. A guy was looking for his friend's lost phone. He's like a middle-aged man, and there was a bunch of teenagers like in that area, and they were accusing him. They were fucking with him, like accusing him of looking at kids, which he wasn't. He was just looking yeah. for his friend's phone. Yeah. They started pushing him, and he had a knife on him, and he stabbed like six of them, and he killed one of them. Oh, my God. And the most fucked up part was like one of the kids is laying there like pretty fucked up. He's the kid that died. As he's dying, the kid that's filming is, like, getting his own reaction, like, whoa, and going back to him and then filming himself again. Jesus fucking Christ. And that the guy's, kid with the phone deserved to die, I will oh say that. He did. God. And you know what his last name was? Or is? Deserved Dick to die. Face. Cockfield. I was close. You were. It's like, it's like, wow. It's like Janiah Cockfield or something like that. It was a girl. Oh, man. Uh, that's crazy. All right, Flyers are losing six to nothing. Oh, my six? God. They get double uh, goals? Do they do double goals? Oh, Guido. Goal. <laughs> Guido, uh, I do like Count Dankula. I've seen a couple of his videos. He's really good. So where is the Apple River Trail? Where Wisconsin. That? Okay. Yeah, I'm with you, Dustin. Uh, teenagers scare the living shit out of me. I mean, what do you do in that situation? That's why I keep a knife on me at all times to kill yeah. teenagers. That's what I'm talking about. Herman, we did not go to WrestleMania. We were traveling from New England, and uh, a friend of mine offered uh, to take me if I was home, and I would have gone. Oh, my God. For free? Yeah. Where were his seats? Probably pretty good. Did you see that the people on the field? They all got to take home their uh, chair. It was like a, they're cool chairs. Yeah, too. yeah. They got to bring them home. Yeah, that's it's a really cushion sick. with the logo of Roman Reigns versus Cody Rhodes on it. Oh, cool! And uh, just like one you would buy or yeah. see at a wrestling store, Man, probably worth cool. like a hundred bucks on its own. I would yeah. imagine maybe eighty bucks for a special chair. But like just the fact that it's a uh, a folding chair at a wrestling match. Yeah, you know, just imagine the parking lot on the way Dude. out. Everybody dumb and dumbering <laughs> each other. It just becomes a giant hardcore match. Heath, brother, I wouldn't even know where to begin with how much I've spent on drugs. Um, Ooh, that's a very fun... It really is, man. That He said to estimate total? Yeah. Are we including booze in that? No. Booze is <laughs> and always has been legal. Miles, please do an Aunt Patsy 5K to honor your aunt in the 5K she left you. I do love that. That's a great idea. <laughs> that's a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> Mixie, how many Patreon members to get a Little Stinkers Luchadoro match? Brother, we'll fucking do it now. I left my Luchador mask at home, Mike. Uh, how much have I spent on top of that? Speaking of, did you see uh, Jason Kelsey and um, Lane Johnson at WrestleMania? Yeah, they did pretty well. It was pretty cool. Yeah. They were, came out in the, the Luchador yeah. mask. He's a spry fellow, man. Couldn't play one more year, though. Uh, Dylan, thanks, brother. <laughs> Bro, that, I thought that was very cool. Dylan, I yeah, there was a store on Fremont Street that had Corona NAs last year. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, I was I was pretty pumped on that. I've been drinking these too, these Athletic Brewing Company IPAs. They're actually pretty good as well. I heard they're good. They were like the first one to set the market off with uh, like fancy NAs. They were? Yeah. They're very tasty, man. Yeah. Pretty close to an NA. Oh, uh, man, you know what Foster does? He's a genius for this move. He... Uh, He'll drink make, NAs. Besides make everybody's wife wet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Keep him away, all right? <laughs> Only at night can he come over. Uh, he'll drink mixed drinks, but much like me, the man is addicted to taking sips. He's a sip man. Yeah. So in between the mixed drinks, he'll have NAs. Mm -hmm. So it keeps the, the arm bent, you know? Okay. Something I'm thinking about mixing myself into. Hmm. Once you get up to beer number eight, you know, maybe take a take a beer off. Have you considered bringing a baba? <laughs> you did just put handles on baby's baba. 
Maybe I'll bring that out. Aww. I, th- I think that would be that would fit around a, uh, a beer can. That'd be so That's, funny. That, that'd be a good. And goof. I'll wear a helmet and a big diaper. Oh my god! Big wet diaper out. <laughs> Give me a goo goo gaga. I want to hear how you sound. Goo goo gaga. That's How's an aggressive that baby. You know what I thought of today when I saw that old man getting his dick sucked. Think man, of, what a life. <laughs> well, aside from that. <laughs> But one of the hardest aspects of being a hooker has to be when you get that first whiff of diaper wind. Oh my How God. old do you think that guy is? 80 something. He was an 80 year old man. Bro, he I was like old like a 65 year old or something. At the most. Yeah. No, he was an old ass bitch. Tommy Z, thank you, brother. James Dale Ritchie. All right, I'll have to make a note of that. 80, 80 something? Yeah, man. Old ass Shock of white hair or bald? He had some hair. He had a uh, a nice collared shirt on, little hair, glasses. He got dressed up to get his dick sucked. It's nice, isn't it? That's so nice. Dude, that's, that's my version of Up. <laughs> I don't follow, but I'll follow. Wouldn't that be nice? Your wife passes away, so you're tying a bunch of balloons to your penis. <laughs> <coughs> And for some reason, there's a little Spanish kid following you around. <laughs> and a dog that can talk. <laughs> John, when is your YouTube special coming? Mm, sometime in the remainder of these 2020s. I like it. There we go. He's Scotty, man. take it easy. I eat poopy, okay? <laughs> Clip it. <laughs> Cocaine, I have never smoked crack out of a can. I've smoked it out of a pipe like a normal person. Jake, your special is great. Oh, thanks, Sam. Mr. Big Bucks, who the heck is that? Read up on a prostitute torture. Man, leave those ladies alone. They got, they got a hard enough life. Man, at that's but- who we should have uh, been banging pots pans for the whole time. I agree. Kensington Avenue prostitutes. Yeah, yeah. Pots and pans. I know what corner they're on. <laughs> Jake, you set them up. I'll knock them down, baby. <laughs> there was a hooker that used to live around the, or used to set up shop around the corner from Butterly's old house, and I'll never forget her. It was the dead of winter once, and I had to park around the corner, and she was out there. It was cold as shit, and she was out there with a fresh cast on her leg. Did you ask her how much? No, I didn't, man. Did you ask her what, he, what she said to that fella that made him break her leg? <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> Unreal. <coughs> I'm sorry. That is not. Best Pop-Tart flavor. <coughs> I grew up on cinnamon, so cinnamon still got a special place in my heart. Cinnamon. But, but I know it ain't the best. Um, I don't even know what kind of flavors they got out these days. Strawberry's the classic one. The sprinkle on top? Mm-hmm. Then they got a uh, strawberry guy. I like As strawberry, kid, but I could eat it. I think my favorite now is either blueberry or cherry. I've had the s'mores a couple times, but beyond that, yeah, that's a wild one. The s'mores yeah. crazy. Yeah, they do go crazy for s'mores. Favorite Fago? Oh man, my brother Kenny Wilson. <laughs> Kenny, if you're in the chat, thank you for providing me with my only taste of Fago. I've loved every flavor that I've had. He brought like rainbow popsicle Fago. He had wow. some very um, limited flavors, limited edition. When you drink Fago, it's so sweet and delicious that you feel like, one, you're going to lose your feet, and two, you feel like your parents are going to lose custody of you. They have cookies and cream Pop-Tarts is what you're saying, Pepper Dongs? Yeah, they have those. Do they? Mm-hmm. I got to get good to the Pop-Tart aisle. The chocolate Pop-Tarts. And then the icing, it's like the, the, the cream icing. And, uh. Yeah. That's that's a dessert. That's dessert for breakfast right there. It is, there. 100%. Dude, Fago knows what they're doing, man. Chocolate Fago? What the fuck? Did you feel any kind of hard palpitations when you drank Fago? <laughs> Bro, I usually feel them. <laughs> <coughs> I usually get them when I'm trying to go to sleep at night. <laughs> Scotty says, I snored Pop-Tarts. That's true. He said, you do it? Yeah, I do it. That's not true, Scotty. Infamy Junkie, I don't know those ladies. Who are they? Heath, I'm going to have to check out that that motherfucker. 
ZB, welcome, my friend. Oh, Mike, you know what I, I started watching after our uh, Boston trip was the uh, Dynasty that you were that you'd ref. It's uh, good, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's really good, man. Yeah, I do like that. So the whole uh, Patriots run. Starting in 03, uh, 04? 02, I think, when um, the first one went down. <coughs> Pinorio, I've never snorted T3s. What are T3s? I don't know. Are they um? Are they like stacker twos? Leafful, I have not seen that. Is Alyssa Alisa Jordan? Uh, is, is that? That's not the lady that fell into ended up in the water tank at the uh, fucked up hotel in downtown LA, is it? Or is that no. Lisa Lamb? That was Lisa. I think Lisa Lamb. Okay, great. Now I'm hungry. <laughs> Unique. Any good movie watches recently? Oh, what the fuck did I watch that was good? You guys answer while I think of this. Man, I just watched something that was good. The hell was it? The Rap- the Rapunzel thing on Netflix. That I think I told you about, right? Did I mention that already? Rapunzel. So, Rapunzel. Let down your hair. Something like that. Yeah. Um, I'm way off with this. I, honest to God, this enjoyed was- Ricky Stenicki. I think we've already mentioned that in a different movie. Yeah, I did. Um. Yeah, it was just fucking goofy the whole way through. I did see this video. Uh, what is her name again, Jeff? Elisa Jordana. Elisa Jordana. She's a, st- a Stern show, a Stern show writer. Yeah, she was driving in the car and she had a dashboard cam, and her pay pig was in the seat next to her, and he was paying her to dominate him. Fuck out on her. It's a pretty nice. wild video. When's that from? Pretty recently. She doinked him on the nose, and that's what set him off. <laughs> That's a hard hit. That's a rough place to get hit. She she got him good, man. Well, he wanted right. to play rough, right? Yeah, but I think that was a little too rough. Oh for his my liking. nosy! Yeah, Jeff, you got an opinion on the on the on the lady's looks? Is she the kind of lady you'd let smack her smack you around a little bit? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. She's definitely she's cute. Yeah, from here she's looking uh, okie dokie. Yo, Jim McCarthy, no, what's no up, brother? Stuff, though. You think that man needs to get his um his penis touched at the end of that? At the end of getting uh, uh, uh hurt by a lady? Do you think he still needs contact? Do you think he just comes? That's a good question, man. I don't know. What are those weirdos doing in yeah. their pants, you know? <laughs> I think it just makes it normal again. It makes it come out of its shell. You think he rattlesnakes himself a little bit? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Damsel. That's what the movie's called. It's a uh not a documentary? No, it's just a like a sci-fi. And it's sci-fi, whatever you call it, like Renaissance time kind of dragons and shit. Okay. Yeah. And you liked it? It was good. Kind of new on Netflix. Kind of new. Okay. The Millie Bobby Brown. Oh, Netflix's own. Yeah. Drake's own. Nick, Millie are Bobby you Bobby Brown? Are you in Philly yet? Nick's asking where you should get pizza from. There's a million good places here, baby. Can't if go you're wrong. On in Philly. Uh, I you gotta get Angelos. a slice of Shaq and Maxon. I love Shaq and Maxon. What'd you say? Angelos. Angelos. I still haven't had Angelos. Oh, it's so good. And their cheesesteaks, man. Yeah. That's oh, right here. Patrick Wright. I I like hearing that. He says he he's his first live podcast, but he falls asleep to us. No homo. You're the second person that said that to us in the past four days. I do like that people fall asleep to us. Yeah, it's nice. It's comforting because. It's good to know that we're not that scary, you know? I know. I try not to be too scary. (laughs) First season of Fargo is very good, Sam. I had no idea Fargo was an anthology. I've never seen it, but I guess every season is a separate story. It's a different story. Mm -hmm. And it's, I I mean, I think all those seasons are pretty good. That's what I've heard. Yeah. I'll have to check it out. (laughs) Guido says we do be very snoozing. (laughs) We're talking new movies only James Benson fell asleep to Killdozer for his sixth listen last night. Dude, Killdozer. I can't get enough of that guy, man. I know. Happy birthday in heaven, Marv Hemeyer, man. Oh, thank you, Tubi Young. That's very kind. You guys are soothing as hell to listen to before bed. Oh, I just watched Yes Man the other day. Gotta love that movie. Oh, wow. Jim Carrey. Beginning of... 
the end of the good era of Jim Carrey, I guess. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, every Sam Sunshine. Sam asks how tall each no, one is. I'm five ten. Jake, I'm five eleven. He's trying to guess, or we're telling him? No, we're telling him. Oh. Six one almost. <clears throat> I d- I didn't see any new movies, I suppose, but uh, I watched the Curb finale and I loved it. Oh, I haven't seen it yet. Oh, do you it's know good. anything about it? No. Really? You yeah. Just stay away from the internet like that. I stay away from everything. I've been living <laughs> underground. Did you see it, Mike? I did not know. You interested in it? No more. You're not going to finish Curb? Nah. No? I I think I've had my fill with Larry David. Really? Oh, no. What do you do? <laughs> I was going to say that. <laughs> oh, I thought man. that's what you were thinking. <laughs> I can only handle so much, man. <laughs> I have had goat at some point, <laughs> Heath. I think. Probably. I don't know. I used to work in a restaurant. Tried all the meats, you know? It was like Arby's. <laughs> Corey, Corey, I'm not sure about the next book club. Do you have a good recommendation? I have not seen The Boys, but I saw some funny clips of it on Twitter. It was on Netflix, right? It looked pretty good. It's like a Marvel series, but with exploding penises. I haven't heard that. It's wild. It's like the the superheroes are, they're like real life people. And they're like, they star in like the movies. So instead of like, Tony Stark being like a fictional character, yeah. like with Robert Downey Jr., it's the guy who plays him in the movie, and he actually has powers in real life. Right? Yeah, but they're like the bad guys essentially. Oh, and it's is it really, a really bit good. Hancock esque. It's very gory. It's not very Hancock esque. Okay. But Hancock's yeah. great. Yeah, I love Hancock. Are you talking about the Will Smith movie? Yeah, you don't like that movie? I, no, I. I didn't see you didn't? it. Didn't? Oh, you didn't see it. It was like homeless and a superhero or something. Lives in a tree. It's got a home. Okay. Oh, is that true? Gary Clark Jr. Pony. will be at Stone Pony. Oh, nice. Hancock goes hard. Thank you. Hancock's great. Jake, give it a try. I'll give it a shot. Cozy Boy Chronicles. Would you rather turn into a merman or a centaur? A centaur. John Crock actually. Created a graphic. Um, it's me and the Deftones White Pony album cover where I am a centaur and I'm raising my hands. Oh, Very cool awesome. looking, yeah. All right, so centaur is a man top. Do I have mm-hmm. arms? Yeah. Okay, so I can feel titties, I can suck on titties, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I can fuck and I can titty fuck. Yes, and you'd have but a horse cock. I can't really feel up titties. I mean, you know you what I mean? Them. Yeah. It might hurt. Lady. No, you got hands. You don't got hooves. Oh, okay. Well, this is pretty good. I think I'm going to go with Centaur. Yeah. But then it's going to be f- tough to fuck a mermaid. Sam, I like, uh, prefer Deftones. But Deftones and System of a Down are doing a show together in San Francisco in August. I would like to try to go out there for that. Wow, that'd be nuts. That sounds like an awesome show. Is this existence just a simulation? Damn. I, f- I feel like there's no way to say this without sounding like a psychopath, but I think you guys are just a projection that uh, I wish to see. Are you being serious right now? Yes. I think you are the experience I want to have right now. And where where is your body? It's made up. Are you plugged into the Matrix? I don't know. I'm not plugged into anything. I don't, I don't, I don't plug into shit. So you haven't really thought this out too much. I have. You have? Yeah. What are you brain. plugged into then? I'm not plugged into anything, you gotta be man. plugged into something. Where's your subconscious beaming from? Oh, natural, there's no, baby. There's no beginning. There's no end. It's just you're there. You're He's Truman Show? Yes. An amorphous You're the blob. only one that matters? In my world, yes. Your family doesn't matter. I, I have to appease them. He's a spirit cloud. <laughs> That's wild. That's a... That guy needs to do salvia. <laughs> Thank you, Lotus Lover. Jake, Mitch Dudley asked, good head or a nice quickie? Man. Can't say no to good head. <laughs> Sounds you know? like Jake can't fuck on under three minutes. 
<laughs> My man. Woo. Nick asks, uh, what's our P.O. box? Is it P.O. box 27, Prospect Park, PA, 19076? I think it's 24. Right? I don't remember. <laughs> I just Google it. This is just a frog boy. All right, incredible. I'm going to look in the Martin Bryant. It might be a turtle without a shell, honestly. Buck, buck, pike. Brandon, what is Program the Kill? That sounds familiar. Oh, man. Infamy Junkie. Favorite pog, new or old? Uh, there's a lady called Real Horny Nikki. On Pornhub. Real horny Nikki? Yep. How have I not come across real horny Nikki? <laughs> Sailor, can we have a heaven rant? What's something specific that you like to know about heaven? You got to get specific about yeah, Mike's get, heaven, okay? You can't ask him about broad strokes. I mean, where to begin, right? <clears throat> Okay, well, no, I, I need to recalculate every question I have about Mike's heaven now that he thinks he's the only thing that matters in the universe, I think he said. <laughs> it was a very uh, regrettable statement, but... I told you, there's no way for me to say that without sounding like a psychopath. Yeah, you I did, know, that's you did, why you, you don't it. say it, ever. <laughs> it, here's what I will give you. I think you're all projections of my mind. Because you come from there, I owe you respect. I, you have my admiration. I love each of you, and I want the best for you. What about somebody in traffic that is following you too closely? You projected him too? For some reason, I don't know everything, but for some reason, he's a part of my yeah, experience. No, that yeah. I fucking... That's true. <laughs> that motherfucker does not know everything. His subconscious is projecting it. Could be an element of self sabotage or trying to teach him a lesson. I think he might. <laughs> <laughs> Finally. Lo Lotus, do you get paid on Tuesdays Finally. or something? <laughs> Someone to get us back on track. <laughs> Shout out to Lotus Lover. Favorite boat accident ever. Um, hmm. <laughs> I do like Titanic a lot because it reminds me of the first time I ever went on a date. Because of you saw the movie, or because you're yeah on the date I saw the movie. Your stroke was so bad you sank a boat. <laughs> Jake, once more, will you open that door? Sure. So I can. Are you gonna s send the cats in to make me sneeze? <laughs> <laughs> I'm already pretty sneezy, bitch. Send the cats. <laughs> Brother, you're a part of my projection, so I can get rid of you anytime I want. <laughs> Why do I got to get up to open the door then? He needs me to float out, I guess. <laughs> His projections don't have legs like the metaverse. Ah, <laughs> oh, so you're a merman. Got it. That's why I need the horse bottom. <laughs> Yo, a little reverse action. I was doing a little reverse action when we were in Boston. Remember that? Remember I said... How about a little reverse action? And then I said, fucking slauncha. It's from the Adam Sandler tape sketch. Okay. Uncle Donnie. Oh, Uncle Donnie. Mm -hmm. That's one I'm not as familiar His with. His fucking leg got chopped off, Donnie. I will look up <laughs> Consta Concordia. Jake, what's the hardest cover you can play? The hardest cover? Yeah. Um, it's probably just like Master of Puppets or something. Ooh, yeah. that's pretty good. Yeah. No, uh, Joyce, Krakamiko is not in town. Uh, he left, I think, last night. I was trying to get him to hang around to do Dad Me today, but he had a bounce. What was he doing? Was he here for WrestleMania stuff? I know he was chilling with Drew, and he did do-rag. Anita Handjob asks, what beer pairs best with <laughs> Perks? Um, the first time that I had painkillers, I drank non-alcoholic beers with them, and they were perfect. So I, I think you could literally drink anything. And they'll be great with perks. I probably keep it light though, right? Yeah, I would recommend that because it gives you a little tummy. Yeah, tummy. Two McFlurries, please. <laughs> Tumultuosity or whatever the word is. Perk flurries. 
Jake, you're looking masculine, Incredible says. Oh, thank you. It's about time. You're getting them bricked up. Man. Oh, baby. Scotty, I miss Labatt Blue. That's a good beer, man. Is it still a beer? Oh, yeah. You just don't. No, it changed uh, <laughs> beer genders, Jake. I've never had a mac and cheese grilled cheese autistic reviews, but um, but I don't think I ever will. Shout out to Dean for bringing a a roofable brick to Boston. He flew a brick. Would you want to specify to what Boston. kind of brick this was? A, it's a Mc, McNugget Buddy brick. Arguably the coolest McNugget Buddy that came out. He in is that, cool, in that man. Group. But I already got it. one. I already got one. He wanted me to roof it. Took me a lot of tries to get it on top of Faneuil Hall. <laughs> <laughs> but I got it up there. You got a piece up somewhere. I did. Yeah, I, I fell short. Jake I, I tagged, I tagged proved Dean himself in. to be the worst okay. athlete in Boston. Time out. We just got done eating like a horseshoe pit filled with nachos. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's loot. Let's roof some shit. <laughs> Roof, eating and roofing do not coincide. Yeah. Jake, uh, Mary Matosa says you were low-key the hottest Little Stinkers member. Damn. That must be devastating for you two to hear, huh? No, Piss you're a handsome guy, man. <laughs> Pissing me off. Um, I don't see I don't see where she said that. Josephus. Yeah, I don't see it either. <laughs> that sounds intense, man. I don't know if I'd like that. We had so many awesome people, though. Like, in Boston, we had, like, Mike, Kenny, Matt, like, a ton of different people. Uh, I think there was a couple. Uh, Zach brought the tooth. I made notes, man, because I was so excited for everyone to show up. Brian You're and making Steph, tooth notes? Tooth notes. I was like, is that a C7 or an E4? Either <laughs> way, get it out of my <laughs> mouth, buddy. <laughs> Infamy fit. Junkie, the uh, the guy who, who created this painting, his name is Scott Craynack. K R A Y N A K. He's on Instagram. He's the man. I met him at a Monster Mania like a year and a half ago, and he just makes a ton of cool shit, man. Monster Mania rules. You ever been there? I've not. I've always wanted to go. Yeah, they're coming back to Cherry Hill in August, I think. Is that where Gravedigger be doing his shit? No, that's no. That's Monster Jam. Monster Jam. I'm gonna go to Monster Jam. Yeah, I'd want to go to Monster Jam yeah, too. I want to see him do all that crazy Yo. shit. They be they Stingers be getting they be making cars do grinds like skateboards now. You seen that? Yeah, I I, I don't see it. <laughs> yeah, they be grinding. They be grinding. <laughs> John, here's a question from Tyler. What are your thoughts on Sal getting skinny? Love it. Love to see a fucking come up. Yeah, I hate it. Love to see a beautiful <laughs> Real man backstabber. become more beautiful. <laughs> and it gave me the inspiration. Stop drinking soda at the end of this decade. At the end of my life. Dean, you're the best, brother. Dean's in the mix. Yes. Hell yeah. Samantha, yeah, uh, great great point. Clive Barker, theme Monster Mania this August. This is the last Monster Mania that Clive Barker is doing. Uh, horror legend, creator of Nightbreed, which was a very underrated horror movie. I begged my mother to take me, and... She was cleaning houses at the time. A lady had given her 20 bucks for groceries, and she took me to the movies instead of giving this lady her groceries. So she got fired from that gig. No. The lady, I guess, was very forgiving, and I, I always appreciated that my mother did that. That's so nice. That's it so is. cool. Yeah, man. it really was. What and did she think of the movie? She tolerated it. Uh -huh. She took me to anything I wanted to see. Uh, very sweet of her. They also gave out these cool booklets for Nightbreed, and if anybody else saw Nightbreed in the theater, it was a collectible booklet. Of each character that was oh, in it, they don't do that kind of shit anymore. No, it was awesome. so neat, man. That's why I wanted, well, I wanted to see the movie because the movie looked cool. But that yeah. that booklet was the How'd clincher. You know that it was going to come with a booklet on the commercial. They said it or something. I think I read about it in Fangoria, the horror magazine. Awesome, yeah. damn, yeah. you were all up in that shit. Yeah, man, I um, I was allowed to rent anything that I wanted as a kid, and like I just loved horror so much. Whoa! And every now and again, we'd go to a bookstore and I'd get a Fangoria. Okay, that's Very a cool. magazine I've never heard of. Yeah, yeah, I and remember seeing it. I was too afraid to look in it. Spooky stuff, man. Yeah, scary stuff. Ah, dude, I, I feel like I can picture it, but yeah. it scared me immediately. But, dude, I think they don't do the booklet stuff anymore. Now you get, like, a commemorative popcorn bucket. If you pay the $12 for well, it. Yeah, it's like yeah. $20. Yeah, that's and true. And then wash it out in the bathroom sink. Yeah, this And complain that you didn't get two refills and on it. make your own Dune flashlight. <laughs> yeah, if it came if it came out now, be, you'd get a uh, Night Brucey. <laughs> What year was that movie from? 80s? 1991, I'd say. 
And he was a he was a writer director. Yes, I think right. so. Very very neat movie, man. That might be a fun watch along. Kind of fantasy ish. Ooh, Quinny P, good question. Any crazy ghost encounters between you guys? I did when we went away this weekend. Friday night, I went to the bathroom when we got when we came back from the show and my TV was moved. I didn't move it. So the screen tilts left and right. Yeah. I was watching it. When I got up to go to the bathroom, when I came out, it was tilted <gasps> toward the bathroom. No way. Yep. So I don't know if that's just a loose hinge and me walking past was enough to get it to move, but. Yeah. No, that would be physically impossible. I don't know, man. What if you bumped into it? I did. Any chance? No. I don't know if I. That's fucking scary as shit. Yeah, that is. It can't be just like a loose screw. I don't know, man. What's the body count amongst you three? Hang on, I did have it. I don't. I have like a regular ghost occurrence that I don't know. Uh, what do you mean regular? Like anytime it I happens go, all the time. Anytime I go into like a public restroom, all the urinals go off when I walk by. <laughs> <laughs> that should be some kind. Wait, of that <laughs> happens to me all the time. <laughs> Sam, are we counting hookers too? <laughs> Jake's dodging the question. Yeah. So are you. No, I'm not. All right. Uh, three regular ladies. <laughs> and I think uh, four hookers. What? <laughs> <laughs> you paid more than you didn't pay. <laughs> you got me on my Arnie Gilbert great shit. Oh, man. You, know, you need to have Jamie pay you. So that way you can deduce one so that you're even again. Yeah. No. And I used to deuce wrong, and I don't care. <laughs> I just really got a shit, just man. Really wanted, <laughs> I just really wanted to say to do so bad. <laughs> oh, that's nice, Dr. Peanut Butter. <laughs> I wish I was a real doctor. <laughs> Who gives you a terminal illness diagnosis. That, that sounds like a fat joke. Like, who's your primary physician? Dr. Peanut Butter? <laughs> Sam says Jake has never had sex. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, working on it. Yeah, man. Any road trips planned? Gilgo Beach would be a fun one. That would be, and it's close enough to be a nice drive. Never been to Log Island. I'll take you there. I'll take Damn. you there. Oh, go mercy. There. It's like, are there places on Long Island where it's like a tiki bar on the beach kind of thing? Do they have that kind of beach towns know. there? I've only been once. In Long I don't Island? Remember too yeah. Much. I don't know. I feel like every place that is a beach yeah, has a little isn't tiki. Isn't there Montauk? That's like a place that's like kind the of. furthest Montauk, out. Montauk, yeah. Yeah, Montauk. Okay, uh-huh. yeah, that's like a, almost like a boardwalk kind of, right? Not to my knowledge. No. I think it's like a rocky shore. Oh, okay. I remember it from Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. Yeah. Is that, do they lay out? Is it sandy or rocky there? It's sandy. Like a yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's like sandy but undeveloped in, in those scenes. Uh, Quinny, what's what's popping in Ocean City, Maryland? Fucking Montauk monster. Yeah, Tim Dillon spoke about that on Matt and Shane. Tim Dillon might be the funniest person on the planet, man. Talked about the Montauk Monster? Yeah, yeah. They have an episode named that. Is it like a Jersey Devil? I guess. Like a Chupacabra? Chaz Minivan. How did the concept of Little Snickers come together? I find something funny about every fucked up person that I've read about. And uh, I always wanted to mention that stuff in with all the fucked up things they did. I don't... I don't like how uh, a lot of true crime outlets just focus on the horror of what people committed. I like the funny stuff. Yeah, yeah. Never, uh, never got done an episode of like season one of Serial being like, ready to go work a lunch shift in Wilmington, <laughs> Delaware now. 
Mixy, uh, three Asian ladies, uh, one fine Mexican mamacita. Three Asians? When you Google Montauk Monster, a bunch of hidden and safe, like, blurred vision uh, images. Hit us with it, brother. So I'm a little... Go ahead, baby. Why are they hiding the monster (laughs) from us? All the monsters just has giant tits just in every picture. Oh. How is that? Is it a dead Montauk Monster? That's weird, man. Are they all dead images of a weird, (laughs) small... Looks like a capybara hairless... Or something. Jack Recca, yeah, OJ Simpson is the what greatest is thinker, that? man. Oh man. OJ what? Gotta get off Jack Recca says, uh, who is the greatest thinker and why is it OJ Simpson? <laughs> Jack, it was also meeting you and Caitlin. You guys yeah, are the fucking out, best, Jack man. And yeah. <laughs> John, have you ever had any weird experience while camping at a national park? Tristan asks. Nothing of uh, the supernatural. Uh, I don't think. Um, the last time I went backpacking in Yosemite, though, I was near hypothermic by the time I set up my camp. So I was kind of lazy with uh, the shit I had in my pockets. So I still had, like, a little thing of pills. Yeah. And I was like, I don't know if they smell. And then, like, my cigarettes and my weed pen. Uh-huh. So I just put all that stuff outside of my tent, and, you know, hoping that if a bear came sniffing around, he would... Give it a sniff and then yeah. not care about whatever was in my tent. And uh, I don't think I slept at all that night. Any little footstep, critter, leaf fall, stick fall yeah. in my mind was a bear right outside of my tent. And I did hear a lot of, like, motion. So it could have been You really a bear. think it was a bear, like, with the weight of the, like, footprints and stuff? or I don't know if the bear came all the way over to my tent. Okay. It sounded like something got close, but that also could have been a fucking squirrel. You know what I mean? Like, any single sound I hear... Yeah. Is the biggest, scariest thing possible <laughs> in my head. Brian says, Philly eats corn on the cob the long way. Go Braves. <laughs> 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 yeah, we're going to see your ass in Atlanta, hopefully. <laughs> what stinker, Jake, great question, Jake. What stinker would you most want to go on a road trip with? OJ. <laughs> OJ just seems like a ton of fun. I would love to drink beer with him. I would love to hit the open highway. I bet he has some great restaurant recommendations. I'm going to go with the astronaut diaper lady because yeah. she covers uh, ground, dude. Yeah. We're trying to get somewhere. If you got to piss, wear a diaper, you know? That's a good one. <coughs> diaper lady is it's probably number one for going from A to B. But if I'm going to enjoy the ride, you know, I'm going to say Edmund Kemper. Yeah, he does seem very cool, Jake. Yeah, he seems like such a... like. A terrible murderer and also polite guy. Like somebody you can have fu- like intellectual conversations with. Long walks along the beach. <laughs> Maybe chop some wood. Spend a lot of time outside the car, it sounds like. <laughs> Lou, I like that. OJ and the Killdozer. Oh, Killdozer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, this road trip's gonna be uh, this God. road trip's gonna be two miles. Can you imagine a Killdozer with a little sidecar? <laughs> oh, I'd love to be the little Kill- Killdozer sidecar. Just taking all of the fucking bullets to your sidecar. <laughs> I'm sorry, I forgot to reinforce the sidecar, Jake. <laughs> Pike, I gotta be honest with you, brother. If the Phillies don't win it, I wouldn't mind seeing the Buckos win for a change, man. The who? Yeah, I don't know what Pirates. The hell. Oh, okay. <clears throat> it's Fuck been a while. That, dude. It's going to be the fucking Colorado Rockies. They came close year. a couple years, man. They got stung by the Braves. Cocaine, I would not move to Philly. <laughs> Did somebody ask that? Yes. Yeah, for real, no. though. Yeah, definitely not. <laughs> Outside of Philly's nice. Pile, yeah, it's fine. If you can afford Mitten Cherry Mouse. Hill, New Jersey, that's not bad. <laughs> Oh, mid mouse said, what's that see. helmet we smell like? The, we passed the helmet around to a bunch of people in Boston. Let's see. Smells good. <laughs> like conditioner. Yeah, we've been bringing the helmet on the road with us. so <laughs> More people want pictures with the helmet than... <laughs> yeah. So if you're coming to a show, just know you can put the helmet on. Do whatever the fuck you want to it, man. You can bless us with your, your head juices in this thing. Cody, uh, Gypsy really bummed me out, man. It felt like they were really meant for each other, and then, man, she discarded that fellow as soon as she could, man. Got a nose job, reconnected with an old boyfriend. Is that true? Yeah. She got a nose job? Yep. Wow. 
And what does that fucking old boyfriend look like? I haven't seen him oh, yet, like man. Gypsy nose Blanchard after this. <laughs> That's fucking nice, dude. Yeah. Um, was she able to um, spread her eyes out at all? <laughs> <laughs> Kurt, thank you. Kurt says my mother was fun to work in temporarily. Bryn uh, Mazeltov to that two-headed Montauk monster that just got married to that fella. <laughs> Bill Bill, I have not. Uh, I will be buying it someday, but I just haven't gotten it yet. We should at least do a um, a trip somewhere in a stretch 300 in the meantime. I would love that. Yeah. 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 Maybe... Uh, Maybe one of our road shows we could organize. That would be wonderful. I'll wait for to the venue that night. I would love that. That'd be so funny. That would be sick. <clears throat> John, if you had a pussy, would you shave it or wax it? Um, I would trim it with my beard trimmer. Same way I do it now. You fucking pussy. <laughs> <laughs> when that two head thing sucks you off, it's called getting heads. <laughs> Beautiful in its simplicity. Man, you what? know how many people tagged me and stuff about the gypsy's husband? I thought I was like, all right, that's good for me, huh? Um, how many? Like around more than five. Mm. Yeah. Big Teats asked, favorite part of Fenway? Dog. Oh. I was in he- the whole place is is so beautiful and unique because any other just about any other stadium I've been to it just feels like you're walking in a circle but Fenway there's so many nooks and crannies yep. and so many so much everything feels like history it's like man I remember this shit from the 80s when I first started watching baseball and it still looks the same as it does on TV then as it did on TV then walking through the outfield there is crazy because you're on top of the monster mm. it's not like New ballparks where, like, the outfield in Philly is an area where you never even have to look at the game. You know yep. what I mean? You can eat, sit, yeah. fucking, you know, play grab ass with your boys. That's what I'm doing there. Well, but, like, burn alley. At, in the <laughs> <laughs> in, on top of the monsters, like, you look down, it's just a regular city street. Yeah. And then to the right, it's like fucking a, a, a light fixture. From like a high school football field, it's so cool and old. Yeah, that's the best way of describing it. Like that giant, like aluminum tower you would climb. Yeah, and you have access to it. It's right there, uh, dude. Like they must have climbing security guards. Yeah, <laughs> two that's, for every pole. That's a whole salary. Yeah. Joyce D twenty five legit question: How did Philly become the hotbed for comedy the last ten years? There, I don't know. There's just there's so many fucking funny people from here. And it's uh, using a baseball analogy, a field of dreams. You know when Ray Liotta turns around and says, you know, there are others? That's what it feels like. Yeah. It's like everybody um, who's, like, doing fun stuff now, it's like the second you get a chance to do something fun, you just want to tell everybody else about, hey, there's other guys here, Mm -hmm. too, that are doing real fun shit, too. Yeah, there must be something in the water. (laughs) Because it's true, man. Like, Philly comics are fucking funny. A lot of them are so funny. Uh, Lou, I appreciate that, brother. How can we support your new book? Brother, uh, when it comes out, just grab a copy. I think it'll be ready at the beginning of June. So I'll be posting about it. I'm going to create an audio book. Uh, the boys are going to be a part of it, too. And I'm going to do some fun giveaway stuff, uh, kind of relative to the weekend with Rain Train stuff. Um, yeah, I, I'm very appreciative of everybody that, that just supports my shit. So I want to give the opportunity to give as much back as possible. Do I think a good way to start is by learning how to read? <laughs> yeah. uh, Dylan, uh, as far as I know, Comedy Central still owns Delco proper, man. And uh, I think the first three mini episodes are still on their website. Yeah. Or their app or whatever, so you can still watch them. Yeah. And the, the full TV pilot's still on YouTube. Yeah. That's just under, like, maybe... Bird text page? Yeah, I, I don't think that was ever supposed to see the light of day. Yeah, but and McKee they never just fucking, put it out. He waited a couple of years, probably. Yeah, but yeah, I don't think anybody's gonna fucking cry foul over that. No, nah. it's funny as shit though. So yeah. watch it. 
Uh, Cognitive Todd. Uh, I would love to hear some more. Uh, Cognitive Todd, message me about that. I would love to hear more about that because uh, Little Birdie told me a couple things too that I'm interested in finding out more about relative to Delphi. Are the Sixers playing tonight? How are they doing? Holy shit. Are they still in uh, contention? Yeah, so it looks like they might have to do uh, the play-in. So I think one of the best-case scenarios for them is to end up playing the Bucks in the first round because I think they would beat the Bucks' ass, and it would be awesome because Doc Rivers is the fucking coach and Giannis is a big, fat fucking pussy. They're, the Bucks are kind of falling apart, and, and Doc's... Mm-hmm. Going to be oh, Doc, and he's like blaming the team, like throwing them under the bus. Damn. They're in yeah, like he's the interviews. Worst, man. He, yeah, it's it's bad. He sucks the smelliest fucking dick ever. <laughs> Kurt, I love you too, brother. Philly Court was a blast, man. Uh, this little bastard was in uh, Philly Court too. He played one of the uh, the suck off brothers. <laughs> I can never remember their last name. <laughs> uh, it was Billy and somebody else. Those are based on real brothers. Yeah, yeah. I was all up in those fucking threads when it was happening. Yeah, what the fuck was their name? Uh, Walsh or Welsh. Walsh. Whatever their name was, we made ourselves the opposite, or McKeever named us the opposite. Yeah, so the the episode of Philly Court that John was in, he played one of the Walsh brothers. And when uh, McKeever first put out Philly Court, these dildos from Philly who were fucking going to film school or some shit said that the idea for Philly Court was ripped off from them, and they're the most... Inane, fucking nonsensical, fucking limp dick bullshit creators you could ever imagine. Some of the worst content that's ever hit YouTube. And oh man, you're you're plugging them right now. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> you probably couldn't even find them if you had to on YouTube. Yeah, McKeever texted me and was like, "I need somebody to play a dumb Italian. I think you'd be perfect for it." <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Somebody asked me and Jake, uh, f- best, worst, best and worst Grateful Dead songs. Oof. Hard to think of worst, but I'm sure I could if I went through some uh, set lists. Yeah. Best, I'm going to say Bertha. Bertha's one of my favorites, and I love hearing it live. Yeah, that's a good one. Um, dude, I've been really hooked on Jack Straw recently. Nice. I love they play it so much with Dead and Company, so mm-hmm. that's kind of why I'm, I'm going to lean in towards that right now. Scotty says, Mark Norman said McKeever blew him off the stage when he opened for Mark. As good as McKeever is at directing, um, he might be a better comedian. Like, yeah, he is so fucking yeah. funny. Yeah. And, you know, he'll just show up and do it every now and again. Yeah. And it's like he never fucking missed a beat, man. Mm. I know. I'd love to see him get back up. Yeah. Yeah, because he's so funny. Yeah, he was, Um, he might have been the first guy from Philly to get uh, Just for Laughs. Wow. Did him and Tommy get it the same year? No. Um, Tommy might have been like the year later, mm. I think. But, and on top of that too, uh, Steve Gerben. Steve Gerben might be the funniest stand-up comedian I've ever seen live. Like, it would just, as good as like you might see somebody do on stage, like Gerben would just like level places. The, the jokes and the performance. Like, yeah. it's, like, it was top-notch. He's one he made, like, a resurgence, like, a little while back, and I was so excited. I thought he was, like, coming back. Mm-hmm. But then he kind of he went away and started doing the writing stuff. I hope he starts doing comedy again uh, now that tires will become a big deal. So I think he capitalizes on that and just I hope so. kind of gets the fire to do that again because he was crushing it, and then he was just, like... It was like Forrest Gump. Remember when he said, like, I, I don't feel like running or whatever yeah. the fuck he said? Yeah. That's kind of what Gerben did. He's just like, all right, I don't want to do this anymore. Uh, yeah, I remember the Golden Thrones episode with Shane. I'm not quite sure if that person knows that I was the host of Golden Thrones. <laughs> 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 I look a lot different than I used to. Y'all that right, suit doesn't fit anymore. <laughs> Heath, I, I, I just don't know that they want to do it on a regular basis, man. Yeah, I mean, I can see that. They're very really, uh, talented at so many different things. Yeah. If I had the wherewithal to sit down and actually write stuff when I was at home, like uh, scripts and stuff, sketches and all that, I might not do as much stand-up. 
because it is a fucking slog for sure. But I really enjoy it. It's uh, having a good set is one of the <coughs> best non drug or alcohol or sex feelings that you can get. Yeah. Uh, Gibbons, Gerben is surprisingly tall. Gerben might be uh, six feet. John, what town in Delaware are you from? Wilmington. Wilmington, Delaware. Divorce seven times. Yeah, we're definitely open to having guests on. Um, Zach Miko has an open invite. I just saw him a couple weeks ago at uh, Helium and mentioned that he was a fan favorite. Yeah. And he said he'd be down to come back on. Yeah, Zach's welcome anytime. Um, I don't know if I'm familiar with the McMartin preschool case, Brandon. Yeah, we're going to get Sal one day. Yeah, someday there will be an Impractical Joker on this show. We will make it happen somehow. And I will still lose the coin flip that day. <laughs> when when Soto sort of threatened to call him like, right then and there. Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. I'm not ready. I don't have my notes. <laughs> Smoked out positive squad. Greg Stone's going to come on Dad Meet soon. Uh, awesome. Pe- people, nice. people message the both of us all the time to say that we look like one another. Uh, so I just messaged him saying, hey, man, what's up, twin? Uh, if you ever want to come on, you're welcome. He's like, yeah, I would love to. So uh, Greg Stone will probably be on, I think, this summer. Nice. Mix C, the show in Mars Plains, New Jersey. It's at the uh, Comedy Dojo. Yeah, sure. I've heard of Bridge w- Bridgeville, Delaware. Spend a month there one night, you know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We're getting ready to wrap it up here. Listen, uh, we'll take a couple more questions. But after this, we're going to take a short break. Then we're heading over to the Little Stinkers Patreon where we're going to do a live episode tonight. Live app. So if you want to join us uh, and you're a patron, just head on over there. We'll be there in a few minutes. If you're not a patron yet, you can go to patreon.com slash Little Stinkers. That's L-I-L-S-T-I-N-K-E-R-S. And we'll be over there doing a live episode tonight. Uh, Scotty, I love Racine. Uh, I invited Racine on to uh, Dad Meet as well. Who knows, everyone, tonight could be the night that I win the coin toss. <laughs> Gotta be there to see. <laughs> Ventus, I definitely want to come to Arizona. Um, I've been watching a lot of baseball stuff, and I would love to visit their ballpark, too. Same. God damn. Yeah, I want to do some uh, some baseball road trip stuff. So I think I'm going to do that for old tons of fun. Yeah, we really uh, struck out with... Our teams being in town when we're going to be in town with mm-hmm. Boston and Chicago. But being able to kind of do whatever we wanted in Fenway was probably cooler than just watching a game in the stands. Yeah, that was incredible. Dude, getting on the fucking field at Fenway was... I would, I would, I never thought I would have been able to do that, man. Yeah, me neither. I'm going to start calling Wrigley every single day. I'm like, hey, are you guys having an open house on <laughs> May 24th? Just 25th? get it in their brain. Well, yeah. Until somebody changes it on the calendar. <laughs> yeah. Rocco, do the Phillies do come to Tampa? And they, uh, Hopefully they're there. Oh. In, uh, he says in like November, so I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> so oh, maybe that's what he means. World Series. Somebody asked if I'm going to be tripping at the sphere. I have not decided yet. I'll have it in my pocket ready to go. But when, do you, when do you go? I risk vertigo in that place. Oh, uh, May 16th is Mick, the show. Mick, I appreciate you, brother. You should wear a life vest. I'm going to be wearing a vest. Yeah. You think that's going to stop me from falling to my death? Perhaps. It'll probably help the EMS spot me sooner. <laughs> Sam, although I hate them, I do like a lot of the Braves players, man. They're they're a great team. They're going to be good for a really long time. I'm actually bummed to see Strider. Looks like he's going to be out for a pretty long time. I saw that. Did he get Tommy John surgery? Yeah. Oh, that's what's been going around. Yeah. It sucks. I was wondering who had it. Yeah, it's kind of fucked, man, because he's... He's fun to root against. There's a lot of players that are going down with elbow injuries. Uh, Framber Valdez from the Astros, the recent one. Yeah, the, it's. Uh, they're saying it's the pitch count. No, the pitch it, clock rather. It's the um, just the the new pitches that they have now, like the sl- the swerve and uh-huh. all. Like the, That's it's fucked, different man. on the elbow than like really? the old days when they had like three pitches, like uh-huh. a, a fastball, changeup, curveball, uh-huh. slider. Daniel, I would love to come to the Reds ballpark, man. Uh, Gibbons Gomez Skankfest 2024 live podcast, dude. Uh, listen, uh, 
if you guys are on Twitter, message uh, Lewis because uh, I brought it. I mentioned it to him, and I know he's got a million things on his plate, but we would love to do little stinkers at Skankfest. So just bug the shit out of him on fucking Twitter and Instagram, and uh, hopefully we can get a little stinkers there at the next Skankfest. Lou Tibbs, I guarantee you we will have a Lenny Dykstra episode. I would love to try to get Lenny Dykstra here for that. We'll go he, to him. Yeah. Um, he did uh, fucking Ian's podcast. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, or Stuff Island, and Ian was there, I think. Nice. I think it was a Stuff oh, Island did, show. I think he did Ian's, too, Okay, early on. Yeah, I love, I've love. i always loved Lenny Dykstra, and uh, right now I'm, the, the audio book that I've listened to when I go to bed is The Bad Guys 1, which is a great baseball book about the 86 Mets, man. That was an incredible team, man. Was that the Buckner year? Yeah. Yeah. Dude, that poor fucking guy, man. Yeah. Yeah, he could barely fucking walk, man. What's so crazy is before that happened, he was just a great player, right? Yeah. Like a great yep. player. Yep. And his whole career got erased. Yeah. Yeah, he was having, uh, going into the World Series, like he was having Achilles issues, but he was toughing it out. And he was wearing uh, high top cleats, which nobody fucking wore back then. Yeah. To try to like help stabilize his Achilles. So he was doing everything he could, man. Look at this ding dong wearing the strap extender. He did it. He looks good. He does look good. Yeah, Doug. Buck Buckner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know Lenny's had some health issues recently, so I hope everything gets squared away with him, man. He seems like a decent dude. What's he dealing with? STDs? <laughs> <laughs> what's what's happening? Is his is his uh wiener burn when he pees? Uh which one has the biggest ball sack? I'm gonna go with Jake, man. You look like you have a massive sack. A huge sack. <clears throat> so big. You look like if you doinked a cat, it would swallow his head whole. <laughs> you ever see the top of a rattlesnake? Just turn it upside down. <laughs> Lou Tibbs says he most certainly does not seem like a decent dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. We're going to wrap it up. We're heading over to the Patreon, and uh, we'll be over there within 10 minutes. So if you want to join us over there, we're doing a live episode, patreon.com slash little stinkers. Thank you for joining us tonight. You guys are the fucking best, man. And, uh, yeah, if you're coming over to Patreon, we'll we'll see you in about 5, 10 minutes. Later, guys. Bye.